The movement of the Earth's tectonic plates has caused earthquakes, tsunamis, landslides and volcanic eruptions. More recently, these tectonic plates are now causing the African continent to break apart, forming a new ocean and continent. The history of continents and oceans is a long and complex story that spans billions of years. The seven continents that we see today weren't always in their current positions. About 200 million years ago, these seven continents were connected into one giant landmass called Pangaea. Over time, the movement of tectonic plates caused three continents to move and change their shapes. These tectonic plates are still moving but at a slower pace. However, one continent is being impacted the most by these movements and is currently undergoing significant changes. That continent is the African continent, situated on the African tectonic plate, which is surrounded by the Atlantic, Indian and Mediterranean plates. The movement of these plates is causing tension and pressure to build up in the African continent, which can lead to the cracking and breaking apart of the landmass. These tectonic plates are constantly moving and pushing against each other, which is causing tension and pressure to build up in the Earth's crust. This high pressure can cause the Earth's crust to crack and break apart. This process is called continental rifting, which leads to the formation of a new ocean. The African continent is actively experiencing this process in its eastern part, where the African plate is pulling away from the Arabian plate. The continental rifting is what causes earthquakes, volcanic activity and the formation of new continents. If the rifting continues in the African continent, then the continent might separate into two or smaller landmasses. This process happening in the African continent is a relatively slow one that is estimated to be occurring at a rate of about 2 centimeters per year. In 2005, a massive crack opened in the African continent's Ethiopia due to an increase in tectonic activity. This 60 kilometer long area is known as the Afa Triangle and is part of the East African Rift System. The crack appeared due to the pulling apart of the African plate from the Arabian plate and it has continued to widen since then. The occurrence of the Afa Triangle is of great significance for scientists and researchers because it would offer them a unique opportunity to study the process of continental rifting as it happens. It is also home to a number of important geological features such as volcanoes, hot springs and geysers. The region is also rich in fossils including some of the earliest known hominid fossils which have helped scientists better understand the evolution of human beings. The continental rifting in the African continent has created a rift valley in the continent known as the East African Rift System or EARS. EARS is a geological phenomenon happening in the eastern part of Africa where geographical forces are pulling apart the African tectonic plate leading to the formation of a long linear valley. It started developing around 22 to 25 million years ago and runs for over 3,000 kilometers from the Red Sea to Mozambique. The southern part of the rift is relatively young, with continental rifting having started only about 20 million years ago. The rift has a series of deep, steep-sided valleys that have been formed due to the movement of tectonic plates. These steep-sided valleys are occupied by large lakes such as Lake Victoria, which is known to be one of the largest lakes in the world. Due to the African plates being pulled apart in the southern side of the rift, volcanic eruptions and earthquakes have started to occur in the area. Famous volcanoes such as Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya are located in this part of the rift. It is also home to a rich diversity of wildlife and plant species. The region includes several national parks and game reserves such as the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania which is famous for its annual wildebeest migration and the Ngorongoro Conservation Area which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Eastern African Rift's progression towards the northern region began around 10 million years ago. Due to this rift, several lakes have been forming around the region including larger lakes such as Lake Turkana, Lake Albert and Lake Edward. These lakes play a key role in the ecosystem and provide a vital source of water for the surrounding communities. This progression of the rift is expected to continue for millions of years and scientists believe that the rift will eventually lead to the formation of a new ocean in the region. 
This geological process in which large slabs of Earth's lithosphere split apart from each other is known as seafloor spreading. This splitting of continents is not a new process nor a scary one. The continents have split and moved several times ever since the Earth's formation. During its initial stages, all of the Earth's land was situated in one giant supercontinent surrounded by an even gigantic sea. This supercontinent was named Pangaea and the ocean was named Panthalassa. The increase in tectonic activity caused the supercontinent of Pangaea to break apart and split into two separate landmasses, Laurasia and Gondwana. These landmasses continued to drift apart throughout millions of years, eventually separating into the seven continents we know today – North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia and Antarctica. The splitting of the African continent and the formation of a new ocean would take 10 to 50 million years. However, when it happens, it would have a significant impact on the surrounding regions. The most immediate and significant impact would be on the environment. The breaking of the landmass would introduce a massive influx of water resulting in catastrophic flooding of coastal regions. This would impact both aquatic ecosystems and humans. The splitting of the continent would also have a profound impact on biodiversity in the affected regions which could potentially lead to the extinction of many species. The separation of the African continent would also lead to increased seismic activities such as volcanoes, eruptions and earthquakes. These disasters could significantly impact the human populations and infrastructures in the region. On the positive side, the formation of an all-new ocean would create new opportunities for marine transportation, fishing and other economic activities. The ocean would also create new habitats for marine species and increase the marine biodiversity in the region. Apart from economic impacts, the split would also have a profound social and economic impacts. It would displace the communities living in the region causing social and economic disruptions. The massive flood would also destroy the infrastructure in the affected areas. This would severely disrupt trade and economic activity in the affected regions. Moreover, people living in the region would eventually face problems producing food and resources, leading to shortages and potential social and economic disruptions. The formation of a new ocean basin could also have significant economic implications. Even though it would open up new economic possibilities like expanded shipping routes, fishing and resource extraction, it could also result in geopolitical conflicts and disagreements. The splitting of the African continent could have major global impacts as well. The vast inflow of water into the newly formed ocean basin might have an impact on the global climate and ocean currents, which may alter weather patterns and cause sea levels to increase. The loss of terrestrial habitats could also have an impact on the global carbon cycle, possibly increasing carbon emissions and increasing climate change, impacting human populations and ecosystems around the globe. Although the sudden split of the African continent is a somewhat unlikely event, it is crucial to think about the possible effects and create plans for handling and minimizing any negative effects. For natural catastrophes like earthquakes and tsunamis, Effective disaster preparation and early warning systems are essential. This would help reduce the loss of infrastructure and human life in the impacted areas. To mitigate the social and environmental consequences of the African continent's sudden split, efforts to preserve biodiversity and cultural heritage in impacted areas are also critical. This could be done by investing in cultural preservation programs such as documenting and recording cultural practices and traditions. Awareness programs could be implemented to help communities understand the changes that may occur and to prepare them for potential disruptions. To alleviate the effects of the split, we could concentrate on sustainable development and environmental protection practices on a global scale. This could include activities like reforestation, animal protection and sustainable land use. Countries from all over the world could collaborate towards supporting the affected populations by providing aid and other facilities. By working together, we can mitigate the damage of the African continent split and ensure a more sustainable future for the affected regions and the global community as a whole.